All right, YouTube land, we're back with another video. Today we've got a custom uh, DX98 VHP. Uh, well, a little history on this radio. It came into us in a trade and uh, ended up that the uh, it had some weak MOSFETs and actually uh, uh, had an intermittent short in the board there. So rather than buying a replacement board and replacing MOSFETs, which I'm not a big MOSFET fan, uh, I actually put this radio up for sale uh on a couple of forums and uh basically as a custom build uh, the the buyer could choose either a two pill section or a four pill section amp section so uh what we've built uh oh Rolly called us up and said man that radio you got 98 vhp squirrel wants it so uh and he wants a two pill section built in so we custom built a high drive two pill section into the amp section uh uh for mr squirrel and uh, so what this is is basically just a demo video on how everything works. Now, uh, everything pretty much works the same as it would uh, before uh, when it had the MOSFET board in it, except for now you have a switch on the back here, uh, right there. You flip that switch up, that turns the amp on, and you'll hear the uh, factory fans come on and everything. Now, the big difference between the MOSFET section and what I've got in here is this uh, custom high drive two pill section. There's there's quite a bit of difference. One is heat. Uh, this uh, this is will run ten times cooler than the MOSFETs ever thought about running by producing uh, about a hundred more watts. So I mean it's 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 uh, you know hundred more uh, uh, peak watts. So it's doing really good. So. The only thing that was affected by this now with the factory board in there, you can go to SWR and uh, read your SWRs with the amp on or off. It doesn't matter. Well, with in this case, uh, with the custom board, you can't do that uh, because that circuitry is gone. Uh, you know. So basically, when you go to SWR, now I'm gonna key up the radio, and you can't see it because I'm on my dummy load. Let me take out the PEP kit so we can see our carrier power. We're keying about, you know, four and a quarter watts or so. So, with the variable all the way up here, four and a quarter. So, um, let's flip the amp on. Oh, see, the amp's on. We got uh, over. Now you're reading the input of the box, which is, you see it move just a little bit, but, you know, it's pretty much flat. <laughs> it don't move. So, anyway, so, okay, we'll turn that back off. So what you got here on the variable power? Now I made this real simple for you, Squirrel. So I know you're, you know, you're driving, and you don't want to have to be fumbling with stuff. Uh, kind of a set it and forget it type deal. Uh, so what I've done is, if you got the amplifier off or on, it doesn't matter. You can run your RF power all the way wide open. Uh, with the amplifier off, you're going to do uh, uh, four watts modulating about 16, 17 under a tone. Uh, it does a little more under voice because the voice is different than tone, but that's why we tune under tones. Uh, you know, we got a four to one under tone. So, uh, so, and which works out to pretty close to uh, when you turn the amp on, that four watts going to the amp is about an 80 watt carrier modulating about 325 to 350, somewhere around there. So that's what the radio is doing. You can run it like that. Um, you know, that's that's the way I would advise running it. Just leave your RF power all the way up, no matter if you got the amp on or off. It'll do you a good job, you know. It just kind of take uh, some of the questions out. Now, you know, if you want to turn this down, you can. It's not going to affect anything. It's just going to lower your power, of course. But, uh, you know, amp on or off, that's, uh, you know, all the way up. Just wanted to make it simple for you. So it's pretty simple. So basically, uh, what you got, we're going to... Turn this on. Turn the amp on. Oh, you get the snap slug in there. And it's reading a little high on that scale, but it's about an 80 watt key. I can't find my 500 watt slug. Uh, um, well, I used it in a mobile yesterday and I've got it sitting over somewhere. But anyway, 80 watt dead key. Hello. Let's turn off the, turn it back on to peak. Hello, audio, one, two, three, four. Audio, as you can see, uh, 250, 300, yeah, 325, 350 on voice peaks is about where we're at. Um, 
Uh, the radio is not really operating temperature. Uh, it does a little better when it's uh, warmer. These radios always do better when they're a little warmer. So, anyway, that uh, pretty much concludes the demo of this 98 VHP, this HG powered uh, 98 VHP. And like I say, Squirrel, I told uh, Rolly on the phone he's going to be turning you down because you can get long winded as all get out if you decided to. This thing uh, with the two fans that are in there and the way it's set up. Uh, man, it stays cool and it will, you can pretty much, uh, key up to the cows come home. So, uh, like I say, no, uh, no strain whatsoever. Turn it back on the power side. Hello. 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 So, like I say, it's, uh, working good. So, uh, we can listen to it. Might be a little overbearing being so close to it, so much watts. Hello, one, two, three, four, audio check. Hello, check, check. Well, not too bad. I'm gonna turn the echo up. All right, so we're back. We got a little phone call there. It kind of knocked us off. So uh, anyway, uh, anyway, I don't know where I was, but uh, hello, check check. I'm gonna turn this talk back back off. Oh, I was about to demo the talk back, and I went to anyway. So uh, like I was saying, uh, 80 watts swinging about. Uh, 325, 350, somewhere around there under voice. Hello, check, check, one, two, audio, one, two. And of course, we're feeding back a little, being so close. But, uh, you know, like I say, it's tuned crystal clear, uh, just like we do all radios. Uh, you know, you guys are running together. Uh, you shouldn't have any trouble, even if he's got the amp on or off, understanding him. It should sound the same uh, a block away as it does 15, 20 miles down the road. So, uh, Anyway, Squirrel, uh, we hope you enjoy your uh, 98 VHP with the custom 442 build HG powered uh, amp section. Uh, we definitely appreciate your business, guys, as always. And, uh, well, anybody else that wants something like this done, you know how to hit me up. The uh, website's down in the description. Just uh, go to the website. It's got all the contact information. You can get quotes and for service. I'm actually doing a couple more of these. I've got one more of these I'm working on right now, uh, you know, which is fine. If anybody out there's got a 98 VHP, they need new life brought into it. I don't do the uh, Ranger boards conversions. I don't do those. I will build you a custom amp inside. Uh, this one is actually 100% uh, old school. I dremeled it and everything. There's no pill strips or anything on this one, but uh, that's how we prefer to build. So. Anyway, uh, you know, from the ground up scratch. That's the way we've been doing it for 25 plus years. So, anyway, uh, we appreciate it. Uh, Y'all stay tuned. Uh, I've got some parts coming in. Uh, got some more radios coming up, but I finally got some parts coming in. So, I've got a, uh, about three amplifiers we're going to be doing this week. Uh, demo on a four pill, a five pill, and a, uh, a four pill, five pill, and a two by eight. Uh, two by eight and then uh, we've got several amps coming up so y'all be safe be careful and be kind we'll catch you next time I gotta get back to the bench yeah it's Sunday and I'm a working y'all have a good one I'm going I'll see you bye